What's up, y'all? Got some breaking news here. This is hot off the presses, or hot off YouTube, shall I say. Uh, apparently, Cenk Uger is running for president. So he was on Breaking Points about a week or two ago, and he said, he kind of teased or implied that he was going to run, and um, he said it like multiple times in the interview, which was kind of surprising to me, because I thought, there, I don't think he's actually going to run, so... I was thinking, I don't know why he said it or, you know, if he's committed to it, but he just did an announcement on the Young Turks and he said, no, I for real am running for president. So there's a lot to say about this. Uh, let's start with the personal angle to it. I'm always going to be biased. I'm always going to have a soft spot for Cenk Uger because in many ways he kind of gave me my start with doing what I do. So I was just a guy doing a show. Um, first I did it as a hobby, and then in 2008 the show started. Then in 2012 I decided to try to do it full time, and I was doing it, and I was chugging away, and I was, you know, slowly growing, but I wasn't growing like crazy, and then the Young Turks basically reached out to me and said, we're expanding the network, do you want to be part of the network? And I said yes, and from there, you know, the show took off like a rocket, so in many ways, I owe uh, the success of Secular Talk uh, to the Young Turks and to Jenk in particular. He kind of took a gamble bringing somebody like me under their wing. And so I'll, I'll always be thankful for that. Um, so with him running, I mean, like, what's going to happen? Well, first of all, I think he's largely going to get the Marianne treatment. And the Marianne treatment is complete and utter indifference from, you know, the media, <laughs> mainstream media, from the Democratic Party. Basically, the idea is you're irrelevant. Uh, we're indifferent towards you. We're not going to cover you. We're going to pretend like you don't exist. And when they do that, it's really hard to get anything off the ground. You know, it, it, it was a miracle. Marianne was at uh, 10 percentage points at, at one time uh, right after she launched because there's just like basically a media blackout. You know, and in some cases, it's quite literally a blackout. I mean, we know the horror stories of Marianne had a speech that she was going to give to college Democrats. And then at the last minute, the college Democrats got a call and they're like, yeah, you're not having her uh, to speak. Just getting her events, the, the plug pulled on various events, um, and being unable to access voter data files even after the Marianne campaign had paid for it. So, I mean, they really pull out all the stops to try to, to destroy you. And that is effectively what's going on with Marianne. Uh, Marianne and Jenk have very similar, you know, policy visions. And there was a blackout on one. I assume there's going to be a blackout on the other. Now, even if uh, they don't give Jenk the total indifference treatment, which I think they probably will, um, they could just go scorched earth too. And sometimes uh, negative, negative coverage can help a candidate. And, but other times, it can really bury a candidate. And look, when you're in the position that Jenk is in, I mean, he's been hosting a show full-time forever. I mean, for such a long time. And you go back in those TYT archives, and there was a time when they weren't just political. There was a time when it was like half politics, half kind of like Howard Stern type show. And so they could dig up all sorts of dirt. And people already did. I mean, when he ran for Congress and he got like 6% of the vote... Uh, you know, they dug up all sorts of stuff. They took out of context a compilation of him saying the N-word. And, you know, of course they mislead you and they make you think he's like calling people the N-word when in reality he was just like reading stories where somebody is being racist and they say the N-word and he uses the full word in context to show how bad racism is, right? But like, they'll just take it out of context and they'll just hammer away. So I think he's going to run into the same problem Marianne had, a media problem. They, they'll either be indifferent or they will go absolutely scorched earth on him. Um, the other big problem that everybody's talking about is he was born in Turkey and he has a legal theory that like, well, actually it's not going to matter, um, because I'm still allowed to run, but you know, I think that the courts are just going to flatly disagree with him and be like, no, you say you have the right to run. And maybe there is some sort of legal theory that is more sound that you have, 
But at the same time, it's not always the case that the sound legal theory ends up winning. I mean, we saw this with uh, what the Supreme Court tried to do with student loan debt reduction, where they slapped it down. Now, to Biden's credit, he then turned around and said, we'll do it a different way. We'll do it through the Higher Education Act. But they slap stuff down all the time for political reasons. And so for political reasons, they'll probably be like, yeah, you're not a, a, a natural born American. So we're just going to say you can't run. So I think he's going to run into a legal issue, too. I think there will be lawsuits over it where they try to stop him. Um, and then he also says, like, hey, I'm running. He says he's running to win. But then he also says what I'm really running to do is get to like 20 or 25 percent of the vote and basically force other Democratic candidates in the race because he's convinced there's no way that Joe Biden can win. And he thinks Trump is a legitimate threat to democracy and he wants somebody who can defeat uh, Trump to run. He doesn't want to roll the dice on Joe Biden again. Look, I, I understand that perspective and I understand a lot of people feel like it's impossible for Joe Biden to win. But let's be clear, everybody was saying that in 2020 also that Joe Biden can't win. And then you know what? He won. <laughs> so I think like a little more humility on that front is needed because, I mean, I get it. Joe Biden's really old. Everybody sees it. Everybody gets it. Is that going to hurt him? I think so. I think it does hurt him in the polls and with his support. But at the same time, he would be running against somebody with 91 criminal charges against him who might literally be behind bars very shortly. He was just found liable of fraud. This is a guy who says we should suspend the Constitution. This is a guy in Trump who every handpicked candidate he had in the midterms got draxed. They got destroyed. You have a Republican Party that, you know, they're responsible for overturning Roe versus Wade. The Supreme Court did it, but the Republicans get the blame. And it's a new reality elections wise. I mean, something like 24 of 28 special elections that have happened since the midterms, the Democrats overperformed in the polls because the Republicans are that disliked by, by the American public. So this idea, it's like, yes, Biden's a historically weak candidate. But you can make a good argument Trump is historically weaker. So I guess I just don't agree with his insistence that, like, there's literally no way Joe Biden can win. Like, let's be honest. None of us know what the fuck's going to happen, right? We should all be agnostic and humble on that front. But he's very convinced Biden can't win. And so one of the reasons he says he's running is I want to get other people in, whether it's Newsom or Whitmer or Shapiro or Tim Waltz or whoever, to jump in the race, J.B. Pritzker, to, like, for one of them to, to beat Trump. But... Look, uh, it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds. I will certainly uh, give fair coverage because I, you know, I pride myself on being as fair and as objective as possible. Um, so we'll see what happens. I will, I'll, you know, I'm going to reach out to him. We'll try to get him on uh, Crystal Kyle and Friends to uh, to talk about his run. And yeah, we'll take it from there. But there you go. Uh, big news: Jenk Uger running for president.